Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today, once again, like my last video, we will be discussing the MBA. So in the last video, uh, my last video did amazing. Uh, it's the best video uh, thus far on my channel. Uh, so hopefully this one does even better and I'll link the last one in the description. So please make sure to check that one out. And uh, before I get started, I just wanna say please sub like comment and share these videos so i can grow my channel and grow my outreach today's topic of discussion will be the mvp race in the nba so last time i discussed the lakers but today i'll get into more specific things rather than teams i will talk about individual players so like i said mvp is what we will discuss today so first is john morant um, so far i'm just looking at the stats here he has put up uh, this season, he's averaging 34, uh, three rebounds, seven assists, one steal, one block. So obviously it's only a couple games into the season, but his numbers are outstanding. And I think uh, his points per game will go down from where they are right now, which is 34, because that is very high and that's hard to sustain. But I think he'll be around the 28 point mark the 26 to 28 point mark and if he can get his assist up to closer to 10 i think he will definitely be in the running for sure second uh candidate for me is joel Embiid. so he is averaging about 27 points this season thus far about 27 13 and four assists with one block so for joel Embiid. I think it's all about healthiness and whether he can stay on the floor. Um, if he's able to play a good amount of games, last season he played 68 games, which is more than enough, I think, to win the MVP. He only missed 14 games in the regular season. I think that is more than enough. Uh, if he has the same performance this season, I think, with the same stats, of course, I think that he will be a front runner for the MVP for sure. Last year, uh, Jokic won it, and Joel Embiid obviously had an incredible season, but Jokic won it. But um, I think this season, if Joel Embiid can do what he did last season, he'll win it. Uh, he'll have a really good shot of winning it, rather, and I'll get into why that is. Okay, so, and lastly, uh, last but not least, my, honestly, my favorite to win the MVP this year is Luka Doncic. So thus far he's putting up 34, 8 rebounds and 8 assists with 2 steals and 1 block. So those are obviously ridiculous numbers. Uh, last season he put up 28 points. Season before that he put up 28 again. Season before that he put up 29 and his rookie season he put up 21. So obviously he's been very consistent and amazing throughout his entire career. Since he came in as a rookie, he put up 21 points, which is very difficult to do. I think he was the first rookie since um, Carmelo or something to put up those types of stats, Carmelo and LeBron. Um, and he's gotten just even better and better. Uh, and now, obviously, he's putting up 34 points. I think that might go down. It's only been two games into the season, but um, from what his career has told us so far, he's just gone up and up and up and his team success has gone up uh, last season he made it to the Western Conference Finals with this team which he didn't have much on that team and similar this year the roster is not that much different than what he had last year um, so if anything his team success is going to be even more difficult this season because I think he has less players they lost Jalen Brunson which was a huge piece to that team but they did gain players like Christian Wood so I think it kind of balances out um, and for Luca, I think individual stats are going to be there anyways, but it's all about team success for him. So for Luca, it's about team success. For Joel Embiid, it's about being healthy. And for Ja, it's kind of a mixture of both team success and about um, the stats that he puts up. Now that I've told you my three favorite candidates for the MVP this season, I'll tell you why I think out of all of them, Luca has the best shot of winning. So, um, like I said, first off, we'll start with John Morant and why I don't think I think he'll be in the running, but I don't think he'll win it. So, Jaw has played four seasons. This is his fourth season. 
so he's obviously very young. Uh, he's 23 years old. All these guys are pretty young. Joel Embiid's a little older, but all these guys are ba basically pretty young. But this is his fourth season so far. Last season, he had a tremendous season personally. Team success wise, they made the playoffs. They faced the Warriors in the second round, I think, and they played very well against them. Um, but they lost, of course, because uh, the Warriors were champions, so obviously we know that they lost. But that doesn't mean that his team or he played bad, it's just they were up against a super team in the Warriors. So, I think this season, like I said, will be about consistency and uh, team success. So, I think, unfortunately, that this team isn't going to be able to be as good. Last season, also, another big thing for me, when I look at his first three seasons, he played 67 games his first season, 63 his second season, but 57 last year. 57 games is not a lot of games if you're trying to win the MVP. So health is also an issue there. Um, if he plays that many games again this season, I don't think he will win it because, like I said, you have to play most of the season to be considered MVP and play it well also. Um, so those reasons are why I don't think Jaw will win it this year, but I think he for sure in the future will win at least one or two MVPs. Now on to Joel Embiid. So he is 28 years old. He's been in the NBA for a while. He was injured early on in his career, uh, but he, uh, since he's been semi-healthy and playing, he's been maybe the best or second best center in the NBA the entire time. So he's played since 2016, he's been in the league. Um, I think the biggest question with Joel is his health. So the last, se the last season he played 68 games, like I said, which is more than enough to win MVP. Uh, you know, 68 games, only missed, only missed 14 regular season games. That's incredibly good, especially for a big man. Um, he averaged 30 points, 12 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal, one, and 2 blocks. So I think there's a couple reasons why he won't win the MVP. And this hurts me to say because I do really like Joel Embiid. So first off, I think that health may be an issue. Um, he's been inconsistent because the year before last, year he only played 51 games and the 51 games before that year two so 68 is the most that he's played in his career and he's been in the league for about seven years now so um, that could be an issue and missing games is not going to do well for the MVP running second thing is I think James Harden will be a lot better this year than he was last year and demand the ball, ball more and be the main ball handler and score a lot of those points that Joel Embiid scored in the first half, especially because James Harden joined the 76ers in the second half of the season. Joel Embiid did the entire, uh, carried the entire scoring load for most of the season last year with the 76ers. I don't think that will be the same since James Harden now joined the 76ers and is a lot better this year than he was last year. Luka, when we look at Luka Doncic and why I think he will be the MVP this season, there are a couple of reasons. So obviously, let's not discount the two-time MVP, Jokic, back-to-back -back MVP, and the previous back-to-back -back MVP, Giannis. So those guys will have amazing seasons, which we've grown accustomed to, but I think that's exactly the point. So the NBA, from its when you look at its history, doesn't really like to give out MVPs constantly to the same player. For example, LeBron won it um, from 2008 to 2012, but didn't win it um, in 2011 because it went to Derrick Rose. He should have won it all five, the, all five years, but he only won four of them, which is fine. Four is obviously amazing, but I'm just saying he only won four, and he should have won it the James Harden year most likely, um, but he didn't. So the NBA really likes to switch it up with who they give their MVPs to. This season, I think that because the last four seasons have gone, the MVP has gone to Jokic and Giannis, they won't do that uh, anymore, especially if their stats are comparable to Luka's. So I think that's a big 
big advantage that Luca has this season. Uh, another thing that I have to factor in with Luca is two two things actually. One, team success, and two, health. So let's start with the health. Uh, last season, he only played 65 games. Um, the season before that, he played 66, but it was a shortened season, so he only missed six games that season. Um, and I don't remember if those were fully off of bad injuries or just resting. But last season, he did miss 17 games. But I do think that while Luca will probably get slightly injured throughout the season just because he has the ball in his hands and takes so many shots and he's used on a team so often, his body will kind of wear down as the season goes on. Um, I think that if he plays 65 to 70 games, that will be more than enough to win the MVP for him. So I don't think that's too big of an issue. Now, the bigger issue, I think, is his team success. So last season, his team obviously had a great run. Uh, they played, they finished, I think, fifth in the regular season in the West, which is really difficult to do. Fifth or sixth uh, in the West. And they also got to the Western Conference Finals, like I said, against the Warriors. So if they have a similar run in, in the regular season, where they finish top five, four, you know, uh, above the Grizzlies, for example, you know, close to where probably Philly's going to finish in the East, top four-ish, you know, like I said, and, you know, it's kind of not a real contender, but someone that you probably don't want to play in the playoffs simply because they do have Luka, I think that will win him his first MVP First of, I think, many MVPs because I think Luca is a generational talent. He reminds me so much of LeBron, um, which is probably why I like him so much. Um, but I think Luca is the best, you know, player out of his class. Clearly, I think no disrespect to Trey Young, but or DeAndre Ayton, but he, I think, he is clear those guys by a mile at this point um, and I think he's the closest thing to LeBron since uh, since LeBron came into the league for sure um, so I think those reasons are why Luka will win the MVP this season that does it for this video thank you so much for watching um, like I said thank you for all the support on my last video I hope this video gets even more likes and views um, please don't forget to like subscribe share comment on this video uh, and also comment uh, what I should talk about next. I'm kind of on a roll with these NBA videos because NBA season has just started. So if you want me to do more NBA content, please let me know what you would like to see in the comments and I'll see you next time. Peace.